many school textbooks still state that the universe is infinite. But in fact, current scientists have different views on this. If our universe actually has boundaries, the question arises as to what lies beyond them. Hello everyone. First, we need to understand a little more about the concept. In the academic world, there is a concept called the metagalaxy or observable universe. This refers to the range of the universe that is observable with our ability to do so. Is this observable universe and the whole universe the same thing? Or is the universe actually much larger? In other words, there is a connection between the questions, what exists outside the observable universe and what lies outside the universe. Welcome to our channel everyone. In other words, you will find the answers to your questions. Today, I would like to share with you some of the most interesting theories proposed by scientists. Let's begin then. Theory number one, another galaxy. The boundary of the observable universe for the human eye is the so-called the last scattering plane of the cosmic microwave background radiation. It can be viewed as a spherical shell encompassing the entire observable part of the universe. The final scattering plane is approximately 46 billion light years from Earth. And it doesn't exist. But it must be understood that looking into the depths of the distant universe is almost the same as looking into the distant past, and the further away you look, the older it gets. At the distance of the last scattering plane, we would begin to see the moment when the universe becomes transparent to photons. In other words, the laws of physics would prevent us from seeing beyond that point. Then, what exactly is obscured by the laws of physics? There is a theory that, outside of the observable universe, there would be an unremarkable universe. If we were wrong somewhere about the rate of expansion of the universe and space were expanding beyond our expectations, then presumably there would be galaxies forming walls and filaments there. That is, there would be something exactly like the observable universe. However, the probability of this would be very low. In the observable universe, we are supposed to be able to see all the material involved in the Big Bang. That is, if there were something outside the observable universe, we would need to assume that the Big Bang happened several times, or, as I mentioned earlier, the rate of expansion of the universe, as calculated by scientists, was wrong. But that would negate all our knowledge of cosmology. Theory 2. There is nothing. Skeptical scientists point out that there is no basis for the theory that anything exists beyond the observable portion of the universe. There would not even be a vacuum there. That is because the vacuum would also be space. Space itself would be limited to the observable universe. In this case, the question of what is beyond the edge of the observable universe would be meaningless. Then, what would happen when we approach the edge of the observable universe? This question would also be meaningless in this model. Because there would be no edge to the observable universe, just as the surface of a sphere does not have a boundary. As with the sphere, even if a spacecraft were to leave the Earth for the boundary of the universe, it would eventually return to its starting point. In that case, the direction would be irrelevant. However, in the case of the Earth, you can leave the Earth if you moved upward fast enough, rather than moving along the Earth's surface toward the horizon, but the universe is infinite in all spatial dimensions. Some scientists, especially radical ones, believe that the actual universe would be smaller than the observable universe to begin with. What does that mean? According to their theory, the most distant galaxies we see would be alter egos. This means that even if we observed galaxies A, B and C at the edge of the universe, only A would actually exist. This effect could be caused, for example, by gravitational lensing. No phenomena have ever been discovered that would clearly indicate the existence of something outside the universe. 
This can be seen as evidence that our universe is unique. And as we all know, there is a principle in academia called Occam's Razor. In other words, we should not assume more than we have to. Theory number three. A universe with other physical constants. Leaving the boring skepticism at this point, let's move on to a more interesting theory. It is quite possible that there is another universe outside of our universe. And that universe would be nothing like ours. Of course, we are talking about multiverse. The multiverse is commonly described by the image of a pool filled with balls. This image is by no means correct, but it is very difficult to imagine a true multiverse. There is a hypothesis called the true vacuum. Simply put, the vacuum that fills this universe would actually be a false vacuum. That is because the energy of that vacuum would not be at its lowest possible state. In contrast, the true vacuum would be in its lowest possible state of energy. As with anything related to quantum physics, it is difficult to understand this even if we explain in plain language. So let's imagine it like this. Let's say there is a slide with a few steps in the middle. If you drop a ball of energy from the top of the slide, the ball will stop at the step. But that is not the lowest point for the ball. The ball falls down the steps and ends up at the bottom of the slide. That is the lowest point. Now, scientists speculate that the multiverse would just be filled with a true vacuum ocean. There would be a false vacuum floating in that ocean. That is, the various universes would be drifting around like a multi-dimensional bubble. Each universe may have been created from its own Big Bang, or many universes may have been created in one Big Bang. Each universe may have its own layers and its own physical constants. Because those laws and physical constants would be different from those of our universe, matter in our universe would not be able to exist in other universes. Perhaps nor would the universes be able to exchange information with each other. This is because, from the point of view of an observer out there, each universe is like a kind of black hole, separated by an event horizon. The Body of Projection The most extreme theory of what is outside of this universe comes from the famous Stephen Hawking. This eminent scientist made some very interesting observations in his later years. To everyone's surprise, it is possible that the observable universe could be a projection of some other structure. It is very difficult to explain because, here again, quantum physics calculations are involved, but let me briefly summarize the main points of this theory. It is not our universe that was created by the Big Bang, but its main body which is projected into space. And there must be a main body of the universe outside the observable universe. We do not know what that body is. Incidentally, this idea is not new. Even in ancient times, some philosophers claimed that our universe was a reflection of another world, God's world. What would happen if they were suddenly resurrected in our time? I am sure that they would like Hawking's theory as well. But this theory has not been scientifically supported so far. This concludes today's video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you like this video. It is not because our level of technology is so low that we cannot see outside of the observable universe. Rather, the universe itself is hindered by the physical laws of the universe. In other words, unless we find a way to circumvent the laws, we will not be able to solve these problems. But don't hold back until that time comes. Because our universe still holds many mysteries and wonders. Please subscribe and like our channel. And don't forget to share this video on social networking sites. Then you won't miss any of the mysteries. Then I bid you all a fond farewell. See you all again soon. Bye.